What is going on everyone and welcome to the Stock Trends channel. So in today's video, we want to go over five stocks to put on your radar, to put on your watch list in the sports betting space. Now, we mentioned that here because we have a pretty substantial event going on, the NCAA College Basketball Men's Tournament, March Madness as we call it, right? So this is going on right now and we can already see from the first day we already have some significant upsets. For example, Oregon State. For example, we have North Texas beating Purdue. We even have Ohio State losing to a 15 seed Oral Roberts. Now, why is that important? Well, it's because we're seeing some parity. We're seeing some craziness. And why is craziness good for some? Well, for those who are betting on sports and for those who are betting on the underdogs, there's a lot of money to be made. Now, there's also a lot of money to be lost. But what stocks can we watch that actually can take advantage of a hot sector right now that is the sports betting space? Well, let's start diving right in. The first stock on the list is PENN, Penn National Gaming. This stock is set to be included in the S&P 500 on Monday, March 21st. So that's actually some big news. And upon that big news, Penn hit a high up around $142. Now this stock got absolutely crushed many months back at the beginning of the pandemic, and this past year has gone on an absolute tear. We can see right now, as of late, Penn has been in this channel to the upside. We can see higher lows being put in, just a consistent and steady uptrend. And as of right now, Penn is kind of bouncing up here off that 50 SMA. This orange line here on the Finviz chart is that 50 SMA line. So we'll always leave a link down below to Finviz if you want to check it out, or just type in Finviz on your search browser to get to a page that looks like this. When you type in the ticker symbols, there's a lot of awesome features here with Finviz that you don't have to even pay for. You can utilize for free, but they do have advanced features if you want to pay for that as well. So that's awesome. Penn is almost like the leader of the pack. And what's kind of number two, I guess, on that list? Number two on the list is DKNG, DraftKings. Take a look at this stock. It's actually pushing on up. And if we take a look, it does have some resistance up around this 70 area, 72 to 74 area. So DKNG needs to get above that 72, 74, 75. But over 75, DraftKings is hitting all-time highs and gets into uncharted territory, which is very, very interesting for stocks. You know, if you're a short, you know, you don't really want to be shorting a stock when it's going to all-time highs. Same as a buyer. You're not really going to be a buyer of a stock that's dropping below support and hitting new lows, right? Because it could keep on dipping, right? Same as a stock breaking out to new highs, it could keep on going. So DraftKings is getting very interesting. It's kind of consolidating up here, looking for that next leg on up. In terms of some recent price targets, out on March 10th, we had a price target up here to upgrade to $75. So that's the latest price target here for DraftKings at $75 per share, which we're getting very, very close to. So DraftKings is definitely a stock to watch. If Penn pushes up, I would not be surprised to see DraftKings right behind it. The next stock on the list is Fubo. Now you might think, okay, this makes no sense. A streaming service, right? Why is Fubo on the list as a potential stock to take advantage of sports betting? Well, because Fubo actually has a potential sports book coming out. Now, the question's going to be when, the question's gonna be the details behind this, but if we get some more updates on the potential Fubo sports book that's been rumored and that we've been getting some more talk about, Fubo puts themselves right up into that category, not to mention, not only are they a streaming service where you can watch these games, but if you can also bet on the games all in one, that's pretty interesting. I think that that would be a very, very cool thing to see for the sports betting community. So this is one to watch, and Fubo is sitting right here at support, down around 30 bucks. I think Fubo is in a really, really ideal spot if you're looking to take a lower risk entry. Don't really want to see Fubo making lows down below 25 bucks, and that's just technically speaking based on the technicals, the chart support resistance, but Fubo is definitely a stock to keep on your radar. The float is here of 72.99 million, so actually a significantly lower float stock than your DraftKings, than your Penn. So what does that mean? Well, with some volume, this stock can move a lot more, and we can kind of see at least on Friday, volume started to push on up, up near 10 million. We got to go back all the way back into the beginning of 2021 to see some crazy volume where Fubo was trading up over 75 million shares. But if volume starts ticking up and the price isn't moving, that's your indicator that we may be seeing a push to the upside very, very soon for Fubo. Next one on the list is GNOG Golden Nugget Online Gaming, a recent SPAC, formerly LCA. This stock has pulled back off of some of the highs up over $25, but I think this stock is definitely sitting at a decent risk reward. Yeah, the stock was just trading down below 13 and we have some solid support down around $12 or so, worst case scenario. So taking an entry up around where it's at, 16 to $17, 
you do have about $5 downside risk, but I think you know your upside is probably up towards $10, getting back up to those new highs if GNOG can follow along in the footsteps of your DraftKings and of your pen. GNOG is also a much lower float stock, and so it can move with enough volume pretty significantly. Next stock in the same sector is GMBL. This one is actually kind of coiling on up. It recently had a big push up here, getting it over double digits, and it pushed up into the 20s, but it has since kind of consolidated. It has some solid support down around $15 or so, putting in higher lows as of late. GMBL is one to watch as well. A low float stock. This stock has under a 10 million share float. What does that mean? That's how many shares are available, 7.33 million shares available to the public. Now, we take a look at how many shares are averagely trading per day, just about a million, one to two million, three million. On a, on a good day right here, we had 16 million. So obviously, if we see 16 million shares being traded for GMBL, on that day that, that happened, we had a range from 17, 18 bucks up to highs of over $24. So this stock can move multiple dollars, which is a significant percentage for a stock under 20 bucks, multiple dollars, you know, very, very quickly. So understand that, but this is definitely another one to have on your list and have on your radar and to keep track of here as the space and as, you know, the sports betting industry continues to develop. Also want to point out here, the next one is ELYS. It's not just necessarily sports betting. It's gambling in general and it's online gaming. I think this is it all kind of group into one to a degree with a lot of stocks, but a lot of companies will offer that sports betting aspect as well. So we're kind of playing on a sector here. We're trying to take advantage of a sector as a whole. And here we go. ELYS is one to watch as well. ELYS, similar to GMBL in terms of the flow, 8.12 million share float for ELYS, sitting much lower. So it's in this kind of range of consolidation between $7 and $5. So you can buy this thing as close to five bucks as possible. But the idea here is that if it breaks out over seven bucks and starts to open and close over seven, this stock makes a push up towards $9, $10 potentially. Double digits could be the next target for ELYS. And then last but not least is Hoff V, H-O-F-V. Hall of Fame Resort and Entertainment Company. The reason why we put this one on the list here, yes, it had a pretty big run because of the NFT craze that's going on and potential uh, recent press releases from the company on Friday, at least when we're filming this video, which is why it's up quite a bit. However, they're also looking to get into that online betting and sports gambling sector as well. We've had recent press releases and investor presentations confirm this, but a crazy amount of volume on Friday yeah, I'm not a fan of buying the highs here, but this is another stock that's been hit significantly by the pandemic, and it's a recovery stock in and of itself. You throw in online gaming, you throw in sports betting to the mix there, and HOFV is a stock to also add to your list as one to watch going forward in this sector. So hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully you got something out of this video. Take note of these stocks. It's not a video telling you guys to buy these stocks. We try to stay away from the hype here on this channel and my main personal channel, which is linked in the description box down below. You guys can find a link to this channel, like I said, in the description box down below, but we keep it real. We keep it simple to the point because there's a lot of that kind of hype stuff going around on social media these days. We want to have you guys prepared. And you know, if you want to build your own plans and you want to look into really the strategy that goes into trading, technical analysis, risk reward, things like that, over on the main personal channel, we have a ton of playlists that are really going to cover a lot of those things. That's definitely a great place to start looking if you're interested in some more educational stuff, whereas we hopefully give you guys a ton of ideas here on this channel and over on the personal channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're jumping down, subscribing to the channel, hitting that thumbs up button, the link to get two free stocks up to $1,850 with Weeble in the pinned comment and description box. Take advantage of that and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.